Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I go by the name of Inventive. And we are on day three, I believe. Yeah, day three. We've got a uh, sardine in our inventory that we're gonna turn into Elliot. The weather is rainy today, so we don't have to do any crop watering. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are mildly perturbed. Great. Oh, look at this. A little cutscene. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get in, get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Da 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 da. I don't remember ever having this cutscene so early. Learned how to craft a furnace. I suppose you just get it like as soon as you get an ore. Furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. You smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It makes your work a lot easier. Alright. Let's grab our sardine for Elliot. Crops are getting nice and watered. And into town we go. Any goodies? Hmm. I always forget that coming into town this early is kind of pointless, but I suppose we can get some more fishing in. Check some trash cans out. Another noise. Noise of a creature in the distance. Another clam. Clam chowder for dinner. Any fishing spots? We'll just stick with our rock then. Can't wait to show you the uh, random fishing spot that can occur. It's more likely to produce treasure chests. Um, and early on, they're huge, huge source of income. I've gotten ones with, like, multiple diamonds before. It can really give you a boost to your beginning farm. Another noise off in the distance. I see one. Ooh, big old halibut. Fishing just for the halibut. Town should be opening up. Darn it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Now, Elliot. If I can't find you, I'm gonna be pissed. Real pissed. Can't remember where the heck he hangs out. I inching ever closer towards cheating and looking up where he is right now because this is our last day to turn that fish in. Does it, he might... Does he hang out up here? He might. It's 
Ooh, there's a leak. Or is that a horseradish? Leak. Good old Willie. Or Linus, I mean. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. <laughs> Another well read individual. Unless that's just his diary of. His diary of junk that he finds in the garbage each day. I still haven't figured out what this little thing is. This little statue. Oh, look at a hidden gem. Alright, I'm breaking down. I'm looking it up. I'm sorry, I'm cheating. I must know where Elliot is to get my 150 gold. What is today? Wednesday? Oh no. He's inside his cabin. Um, can I get in there? I don't know if I can. Well, that's just bullcrap. Why would you post a quest for me if I can't ever turn it into you, you dummy? Well, we're wasting precious time here in Stardew Valley. Time is one of the th three main resources. We've got energy, money, and time. And those three things are kind of what dictates how things go for us. Alright. Oh, oh, Elliot. I hate you so much. Well, whatever. It's just a stupid fish. Thought I saw him. There's a seagull. Seagull will probably take the sardine too. I just don't think he's going to give me 150 gold for it. There are a series of secret fish that you can catch. And that is what is making those noises that we're hearing in the background. I've only caught one before. Ah, fudge. All right, why don't we do a little bit of Riverlands fishing? It's really not a whole lot for us to do on day three. What's this? A person in the distance. Aha! Gotcha. Shad. Good old Shad. Shad Kroger. Of Nickelback. Smallmouth bass. Getting a lot of high quality fish. Hmm. Maybe we should go sell some fish. Again with the algae. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Huh. 250 gold for turning in some crap to Gunther. Build a furnace. Cultivate a parsnip. Oh. 18 of 28 people greeted. Now, I didn't know this, but I guess you can... If you go to the social tab... You can see which ones of the 28 you've greeted. Which, <laughs> when I first played this, it was a huge pain in the ass because I couldn't remember who I kept greeting. So I would greet them all over and over again. But yeah, see how they have question marks? That means they, you obviously haven't greeted them yet. And actually, since we're right here... What's up, Vince? I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. Today's the perfect day to look for bugs, son. It's raining. Get some earthworms. Jody. Oh, aren't you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone move, moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I kind of find it... What's with all the musical instruments, Jody? Or are you trying to start a punk band? I'm surprised that there aren't any other farmers in town, considering it is called Stardew Valley. It definitely sounds like a farmy place to be. Well, I believe there are some other houses we can check out. There's the bar. Where is Grandpa's house? House with the jackass in it. Are you kidding me? Oh. There's good old Pam. Closed on Wednesdays. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot to do today. I mean, I could fish, but that's kind of boring, right? Oh, crap. I just gave her a sardine. Well, now Elliot's not getting it. That's Leah's ranch. Let's go turn in our fish to the magical dumpster that makes things disappear like the washing machine. Oh, we do have a sardine left. Um, let me just see what I got in my... Oh, I do have an anchovy. Okay, anchovy, sardine, shad. I've got a leek already. I can sell that. Dandelion, and I have a clam. Okay, so I'm going to sell the rest of this stuff. Let's see what we can fish up in our magical Riverlands farm. You can see I'm going towards the darker areas, and that's for a reason. You get better fish out of those. From what I've been told, you fish up much... Oh my goodness, you fish up much less trash in this Riverland farm than you used to on your farm, because that sucked. You could fish up, like, nothing but junk. Oh, this asshole. Wow, this is one fight. Fight for the record books. I hate you.
Oh my. God bless America. So we must be getting good fish out of here then. They're just higher than what we're able to catch. That was a son of a bitch. game does start out a little bit slow. If this is the first playthrough you're watching, don't get discouraged. Kind of does this thing where every couple of days it more and more gets opened up to you. Um, there's a reason it says a 92% on Steam. Once we get into the caves, once we get into the community center, there's just a whole ton of crap to do. We really, there's not going to be enough time in the day to do all the stuff we want to do. But right now, it's just time to build up some cash flow, get ourselves a bigger backpack. Um, I'm going to get 300 wood to... Oh, that's what else I can do, too. I can chop down some wood. We need to get 300 wood so we can fix the bridge on the beach, and what that'll do is open us up to some foraging and a new fishing spot. Ooh, our first goldfish, I think. I think I need the bream for the community center, so I'm going to save that until I know for sure. Alright, let's get some wood. Actually, I'm going to keep... We have a few hours left, so I am going to ingest some goodies. Well, I suppose I should probably save this stuff. Yeah, that's enough for today. Okay, let's call that a day. A boring day. Level 1 foraging. Now we can make these field snacks, which are really good for getting your energy back, and you use like some seeds and stuff that you don't normally use to make them, so they're a really good use of resources. Level 2 fishing, so we can use bait. Make bait, rather, because we can't put it on our thing yet. Solid 675 gold. Not bad for day 3. Not bad at all. 
cock a doodle doo Weather tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor. Not too bad. And... Look at this. We are almost ready to harvest some parsnips. Tomorrow, I believe they'll be ready because they take four days. Maybe today I'll get a little bit more planted in the ground. So now we have $1,400. Probably be able to buy a backpack tomorrow. With all the parsnips we're going to get. Although I'm not going to sell a whole bunch of parsnips, I don't think, because I'm going to need them for Maru and for our... Well, for Maru, because we won't have any gold ones. As soon as we get some gold parsnips, I'm saving those for the community center. leave without your hoe. That's what I always say. Now I get to accost Elliot for not letting us turn that quest in. Quest in town. I need a seaweed for a salad I'm making. Can I get? I can totally get a seaweed. Leah, who's Leah again? Well, doesn't hurt to accept it and then. Let's see what we got on the beach today. an artifact. Oh, our first book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. I really am in awe of the amount of, like, cool little collectible things that Concerned Ape has been able to put into this game. Again, just being one person, I mean, I've got a little bit of programming and game design experience, but, I mean, it's just phenomenal what he's been able to do as one person. This is the bridge we're going to fix. As you can see, there's like a coral and a street sea urchin over there. Those are pretty good. I mean, it's free, so it doesn't hurt to take it, right? Wonder, let's maybe go fishing up north today. Doctor at Doctor Havy. Look at Maru in her nurse outfit. No, I don't know if I did this. Did I talk to him yet? Pierre. How much is this? Three thousand or two thousand? Two thousand. Oh, and I never did potatoes. Okay, good. Excellent. Who do we still gotta meet? I should probably just get that over with. Old dude. Green-haired chick. Ah, here we are. George. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. A buzz off. My kind of guy. Oh, why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. 
I'm not gonna keep these voices up all the time, by the way, because it's just too straining. <laughs> and probably quite irritating. So, we are now at... 24 of 28. So let's see if that includes the wizard. One, two, three, four. Right, okay. So the wizard isn't included because we've got those four. Demetrius. Didn't we talk to Demetrius already? Yeah, because he said... Or... Maybe not. Could have swore we did, though. Because I made a joke about his name being Demetrius. You know what? Maybe I didn't record that. <laughs> Maybe I think I did restart today, day two. But no matter, because here we are at Demetrius's house. And now I get to meet him. Greetings, I'm Demetrius. That leaves Harvey the doctor, the perp, the green-haired, and the purple-haired people. <laughs> yeah, I think you're kind of limited. At the, if you don't do the introduction quest, they might not let you continue with some of the quests. So. Where's the doctor? There he is. Oh, I can go in here? Cool. There we go. Two more to meet. Elliot, you bastard! I've been looking for you. I wanted to give you that sardine. children in the library because I thought usually they study in here well, since we're here there always seems to be a foraging thing there It's locked. Rats. I think I met Emily already. Anyone in the kitchen? Get out of the way, bruh. Trying to get in that dough. Your mom left you home alone. Oh, upsetting. Well. Um. Oh, there's the green haired one. Caroline. So, yeah, 27 people now. Who's left? Who is that? is kind of cool. You can buy Joja Colas at this machine. And there are arcade games. There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Dot, dot, dot.
Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I'm getting swarmed. Usually they don't start out like this. Holy Christ on a cracker. Yeah, see, this is how they normally start out. Get away, you fiends. Back. Have at ye. Oh my lord. Ha ha ha. Nuked ya. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like a Binding of Isaac level. Oh no! We've come so far! <laughs> no! Oh my god, I made it! I don't think I've ever made it this far. Holy crap. That was awesome. Oh dear Jesus. No way I'm making it out of this alive. <gasps> no! If I would have gotten that wagon wheel. Oh, I'm still on this level though? That's cool. Get away. I hate you all. What are these like little like monster orcs? What the f No! Alright, last one. All right, shotgun. Where you at, homie? That's how you do it. No! Negative one life. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> but that's kind of cool that they added that into the game. It is fun. I wonder what you get if you get to the end. Probably like a scarecrow or something. There's like um, a bunch of special scarecrows that are kind of like secret items, I guess, throughout the game. What was I originally going to do? Well, I suppose we could plant some of these uh, things. I can't remember where that last person is. Maybe she's up here. Bet you any money. Hey you, where's that last person? I don't really know where else she would be. Probably in her house somewhere. Oh, you know what? Now I know. Abigail, isn't it? Bet you it's Abigail. Yep. Abigail. Where are you? Thursday. She's heading home. Pierre's General Store. All right, I gotta get there. She's heading home right now.
No, Abigail. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get in there. Well, you can always do it tomorrow. Elliot, you son of a bitch. You're gonna be my nemesis now. Everyone goes home at four o'clock. It's such a boring town. So I just walked around with this over my head all the time. My arms would get tired, that's one thing. Potato seed. That's kind of funny. Don't you just put a potato in the ground and then it grows more potatoes? Right? Isn't that how it works? I kind of have this thing where I always have to organize my inventory. Oh, it looks like I forgot to... Did I forget to... Oh no, it was just the... I didn't forget to water the bean. I thought I did, but... Just looked that way. another une uneventful day here. Why don't we try fishing? By the wizard's hut. <gasps> what happened? Oh, I'm not. That's why. I'm not in the right spot. Well... Try fishing here. Screw it. Soggy newspaper. Oh yeah. Okay. That's enough of that. I'm not gonna waste my time fishing up trash. It's like trying to go to a bar to meet a girlfriend. <laughs> Waste your time fishing up trash. I'm tired. I don't want to do things that aren't at the bar. I do like that noise. I've never really been much of a lake fisher. And another fish. Have at ye, beast. Smallmouth bass. Ooh, it's getting late. If you don't go to bed early enough, you end up passing out and someone has to take you home. And you lose money. Which is never good. Don't lose money, kids. I'm 
think I'm going to keep episodes to either two days long. If it's, I don't know. Two days seems about good enough. Good length. Plus, that's a good size, file size. About three gigabytes for a video that long. All right. Well, what did we get done today? We got a lot of our introductions done, except for Abigail, who snuck away at the last moment. Got to accost our new nemesis, Elliot. Planted some new crops. Got a little bit more fishing done. So yeah, not too bad. Probably wondering why am I keeping this trash and you will find out soon enough once I build a recycling machine well thanks again for watching I go by the name of inventive mildly successful day four of spring 172 gold and that is it for episode two so uh, yeah hope to see you again